Oh, we're going to A, a team out of this. I think <laughs> Playground <laughs> Games have been watching far too many uh, Fast and Furious movies. I think we're in Mexico, Andy. Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox. I'm Mike, joined by Andy, and we are playing Forza Horizon 5 before, Andy, it, hi. before it even comes out. Pretty exciting. Yep. Now, I think you expect me not to drive directly into that volcano to see what happens. I mean, I imagine what? it's not good for the car. Yeah, but I need to know whether like all the tires pop and stuff. So, all right, well, all let's right, see. I'm in go, charge. Go let's go. Let's go. We're finding out what happens immediately. Ramping into the lava. Right. Well, let's go. In the, yeah. Here we Rewind. go. I don't think oh, so. Oh, it fades out. Oh, but Aww. what if I get a big jump going? How about that? What if you land? Yeah, what if you ramp off? Oh, I've rolled it. <laughs> oh, my God. This doesn't make me want to buy the 2022 Ford Bronco. It's not a great say. advert for the Bronco, is it? No. Especially if you want to buy one to ramp it into oh. lava. Oh, they were so ramping then. All so right, fine. we can't watch a Ford Bronco melt into molten rock, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, you probably That's didn't the think there was volcanoes and snow next to each other in Mexico. Yeah, oh. well, it's a, a land of contradictions. Um, yeah. All sorts like, of biomes going on. Yeah. That There's plane is satellite dish. very low. Yeah. And uh, banking just... quite hard. <laughs> yeah. This but plane it... is crashing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's about to hit that man. <laughs> it's in the middle of crashing. <laughs> so crashing we, uh, with of style. Course, we are set in, in Mexico here. Yes. Which is, which is good. Obviously, very, uh, very beautiful, yeah. exciting country. But um, what do you think of this idea, Mike? Okay, go on. Playground are making the new fable. Right. What if they just reused all the assets and set it in Albion? Or set the new fable in Mexico. Yeah, either works. But I think it would <laughs> it would be better to have Forza set in Albion because you everyone else would be on horses. You'd be the only one with a car. Yeah, you'd win every race by default. You'd win every race easily. They'd yeah. be way behind you on their stupid horses. That's and true. And then you could be having a turkey leg and some mead. I mean, I've been like saying for a long later, time that horses are stupid, so I'm I'm fully into this plan. Yeah. So if you are listening, playground games. It's probably a bit late to change it from Mexico to Albion at this point. But maybe Forza maybe Horizon just, 6. Just consider it for the next game. I mean, you know, it, it depends on whether this game is a, the sort of roaring success that every single Forza Horizon game has been previously. Hmm. If you did a so jump like that in real life, would you die? No, I don't think so. No, I think you could You could probably you could probably survive if the suspension was springy enough. But you fell so, so far. They're really just dumping cars out of these planes, yep. huh? Yeah, I mean, this is a brand new Corvette, obviously. Again, yeah. probably going to reduce the value somewhat when it slams into the ground. How is it steering the? How is it steering the parachute? <laughs> it had little little motors. It landed, oh. yeah, it landed perfectly on that road. Anyway, this is the new brand brand new Corvette, Andy. Which I'm, as I'm sure you know, Corvette have finally shifted from the front engine layout to a mid engine layout, which is you know big news among Corvette fans. So the engine's in the middle of the car? Yeah. Like, Where do you sit? Yeah, in front of it. You sit in front of the engine? Yeah. It's in the back there. I've driven off the road Is demonstrating. Is that not a rear engine set, set up? No, a rear engine would be hanging over the back axle, which it is not at the moment. But Porsche's a rear engine quite often. So why would you want to sit in front of the engine? What if the but because it, and it, because it offers better weight distribution, so it offers better balance for the car. There's a Porsche, cool. which I've just driven into, the right. engine of. Um, Corvettes are spaceships themselves. To be honest, this thing looks like a spaceship inside. <laughs> They've gone really hard on the making the cockpit look like a silly spaceship. It's very childish, and I'm absolutely here for it. I appreciate that you just smashed some cacti. Yeah, yeah or you asked for it, and you got it, Andy. Oh, we're going into a dust cloud. I mean, this is going to play Have havoc got... with the paintwork Have you of got my wipers? brand new Corvette. Uh, I don't. Should we see what it looks like from in inside? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, oh no. dear. Oh, we're getting no. sandblasted. Oh, oh my you're fish tailing. You're fish tailing. <laughs> it's fine. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Cut scene to go over. <laughs> you thought I'd gotten out of the car and <laughs> I was in front of it and about to be run over by my own car, like Brian Harvey from the Seventeen. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's right. those were the exact thoughts. <laughs> What's next? My head. What's next? Do you remember you said that the reason it happened was because you'd eaten four jacket potatoes? Yeah. Well, yeah, those have, those have a cumulative effect. <laughs> this feels like an extremely eccentric terror attack. <laughs> 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 They're just dumping cars on the people of Mexico. Yeah, it it does. Yeah, I agree entirely. It's like a sort of it's like a die-hard sequel. Yeah. One of Hans Gruber's <laughs> sons has <laughs> <gotta> <laughs> completely lost it. Yeah, we've got to stop uh, <laughs> Jerry Gruber. He's up there <laughs> in his plane. Oh, it's Jerry. It's a, this is a real Jerry Gruber plan Jerry he's Gruber. come up with. 
He's the real, the worst <laughs> one of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is, this is nice. Yeah, it is nice. No dust it? storms or uh, yeah. environmental hazards, no Got volcanoes. Safari spec Porsche going on. I like it. Safari spec Porsche. Well, it's like it's like the ones they used to race in the Safari Rally or the Dakar or something, you know. Right. Not ones that you drive around giraffes and stuff. No, I mean, well, I mean, I suppose during the Dakar you might drive past a giraffe. What's that in the window? Uh, it's like a fan, isn't it, to cool the engine, probably. Is the engine on the back, then? Yeah, the engine's at the back in an old Porsche, and also this one's probably like air cooled. That's probably why it's got that big. That Should big fan would normally be underneath the the whale tail spoiler, um, but it, they put it in the window, I guess, for better. better <laughs> the way cooling. you said that, I was like, oh, they're going to reveal in the story later on that it's underneath that. The way you were <laughs> like, it's underneath the whale tail spoiler. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. no, the, I was referring to the whale tail okay, shape got it, got spoiler got rather than. Spoiler alert, it's underneath a whale's tail. Yeah, I thought that was going to be revealed later on. Oh, that would story. be a hell of a twist, wouldn't it? Yeah. I Ooh. doubt we're going to see a single whale in this. There he is, Jerry Gruber in his yeah. plane. <laughs> Dropping cars on people. He's flying underneath a bridge. It's reckless. He is, I he agree. He's lost it. I don't know Stay why out I'm of the river. Yeah, well, it's technically a shortcut, sort of, but I have been I mean, you just got overtaken, so no. Yeah. You're not going to believe your eyes when you see this. Apparently, we're not going to believe our eyes when we see whatever's over this jump. Okay. Or the next jump. Or the jump afterwards, perhaps. I'm hoping for a giraffe, although I don't think... Here we go. Oh, we, we just, um, oh, flamingos. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a temple. Quick, let's ra ramp up those steps. That oh, is cool. They're disappearing flamingos. All right. Okay. Baja, Baja California, Baja. home of the of the Baja 1000 race, right? Home as, of as the well Baja you know. men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Singers of Who Let the Dogs Out. Yeah. Releases of dogs, the yeah. Baja men. All right, Andy, Mercedes AMG Project One. Will it ever come out? We don't know, but it's a very exciting I mean, car. Okay. I mean, this looks like a red version of the Corvette we were driving. No, it's very, very different, Andy. It's the, it's the same car. And as you know, it's got the engine from the 2016 Formula One car that Lewis Hamilton won his championship with. Right, so, but this is a road car. Yeah, it's a road car, but with a Formula One engine, which Why basically, that? from what, well, it makes it go very fast, but from what I can tell, it also makes it extremely unreliable. It sounds like it, you'd need to replace the entire engine every 20,000 miles or something. So. Sounds bad. Also, you, there are these things called speed limits. I don't know if you've heard of them. Not here. Not in, not in Forza Horizon 5's Mexico. Mm. Look at this. Look at this speed. This is ludicrous. I'm going, going uh, 194 miles an hour <laughs> yeah. on what I believe is the wrong side of the road. It, it, I mean, when you're going at that speed, the whole road is the wrong side of the, the road, side of the road yeah everything comes at you very very oh, quickly. Jerry again he's back <laughs> he's I'm going to slip stream behind this I think Koenigsegg Yesco oh and Ford GT pinballed off both of them I know that would be a very expensive accident in real life wouldn't it I think if I was allowed to have any of these cars I would have the Koenigsegg because I love saying the word Koenigsegg Koenigsegg is a very it's a very cool car as well. it looks like a Hot Wheels car basically so nice. it's got nice big wheels and it's cool shape. Yesco is the name of uh, Christian von Koenigsegg's dad. He's named his car after his dad, which is like That's me nice. making a car called the the, the Channel Paul. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? The Channel Paul. Yeah, it just sounds strange, doesn't it? But when it's Koenigsegg Yesco, it sounds yeah. great. So his dad was where, called Yesco. But maybe for Swedish people, it just sounds really silly. Yeah. I don't know. Like the Farron Colin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like just strange. Well, we made it cool. to the festival, we made Andy. It to the festival, we survived. Still, don't really understand the concept of the of this festival. It's like, whoa, hang on, you got David Schwimmer there in the middle right. Uh, oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Popular character David Schwimmer there. There's one of these who looks quite a lot like my wife, and I'm not going to say which one it is because right. it would be weird. Let's be David Schwimmer, um, but with pink hair. But with the Rachel. Oh, yeah. he's now we look like Iggy Pop. So let's go yeah, for that. Should we make it that kind of dirty well, they're, they're, Iggy Pop blonde? Can we make them a combination of all of the friends? Yes. So this with is, the Rachel haircut. Yeah. And then um, Chandler's prosthetic arm. Oh, cool. Should we? Yeah. I think blue prosthetic have, left arm looks pretty cool. Can we have cool. two prosthetic arms? No, I think you're only allowed one. Okay. Please give it up for, for Iggy Pop headlining the Horizon Festival. We're well, actually, our character is called uh, Chan Mon Joe Raby. <laughs> okay. That's catchy. 
Yeah. Uh, also known as Count Driftula because Count Driftula, his AKA main name Chan is Chan Monja Raby. Yeah, his main name the is too difficult to Biggie pronounce. <laughs> yeah. Here's your Yesco. Look at that. Look at that. What a great looking car. Is that what his dad looked like? Yeah, yeah. It's a oh. perfect replica. Oh. Oh, can Jerry's we drive that landed. truck? <laughs> Jerry's landed and surrendered himself <laughs> to the authorities. <laughs> who's this? Who's this character? It's, it's the owner of that Koenigsegg Yesco. Everyone in this must be a multi, multi millionaire. It's like, do you remember in Forza Horizon uh, 2, where there's that guy Ben, who was a real jerk? Yes, yes. And yes, who yes. was just clearly so rich. Um, <laughs> basically, just like, oh yeah, you can borrow my Lamborghini, have fun with it, and expected us not to resent him. Yeah. Um, I just tried Googling Koenigsegg Yesco, and I'm pretty sure I misspelled every word there. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, oh no, here we go. $2.85 million. Yeah, Andy. So get saving. For a car? Yeah. You'd have to live in it, wouldn't you? You'd have to live in the car as well as. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And you also. Can get a used Peugeot 205 <laughs> for £500. The Corvette's a bit more affordable. You said it looked pretty similar to the Corvette, right, or something? What's the, what, what is the Corvette? That's like six. No, what's, what's the make of it? The, a Chevrolet stuff. Corvette. Yeah, but what's the model? Oh, I can't remember. It's just the. It's, there you go. Corvette right. Stingray Coupe. But it's Stingray the new one. It's the like Coupe. 2021 or something. 2021. Can't go wrong with a Corvette. I'm Googling it now. All right. Two litre Coupe. $67,000. Yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. Right. Supercar for the masses. That's the point of a Corvette. Fine, yeah. $67,000 is so much money. You could get a Peugeot 205 for 500 pounds <laughs> and then spend the rest on other stuff. Uh, okay, your number plate needs to be ch Chan Chanjo. Can it not be Driftula? I don't know if that'll fit. Oh yeah, yeah no, I will. think it will. Yeah, All I right, just need fine. to work out which order the alphabet goes in. I'm struggling here, and then Driftula. Perfect. Nice. Nice. Perfect. There you go, Andy. We'll get it resprayed black as well for Ideally. full Transylvanian goth energy. If we can have some yeah some red accents. Yeah, we could maybe get red underlighting. Maybe that would be allowed. Hey, Count Driftula. Hey, Count Driftula. Hi. <laughs> she sounds so cheery when she says it rather than like cowering in fear. Oh, straight into oh. showcase. Let's do it. Jerry's like, back. Uh, Jerry's up to his old. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry Gruber. Avenging his dad and also um, Jeremy Irons yep. is in some way involved. Now, I'm, I'm assured by the video game that all this music is fine to be played. <laughs> okay. Um... It sounds it sounds good. Ooh, oh, I've just that needle. No, yeah, you just head on into with a, <laughs> some other player. Chiron, I guess. Well, Mexico looks nice this time of yeah. year. Talking of this time of year, the seasons are back. Apparently, you know, uh, you know, Forza Horizon oh, Four yeah. had all the kind of winter and summer and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what the seasons are like in Mexico. How does that changeover work again? Is it just like it's like every week, basically every real right. world week, it switches to the next season, which is kind That's of pretty fun. cool. Are All these right. actual people or are they drive driver tars? Uh, when you play it for real, they'll be driver tars, but this preview code is all offline, so mm. they are not real people currently. But uh, you know, you could drive around, you might see me whizzing around in your in your game. People nice. tend to like to tweet us when they are beaten by us in races, which is fun. All right, let's see what Jerry Gruber's. Could oh my lord! Oh, I'm having a moment. Why? What's that? That's uh, that's Ken Block's Ford Escort Cosworth. That um, looks worse than the one we were just in. Yeah, but it's amazing. <laughs> it's one of the greatest uh, it's not, ra rally cars ever, basically. It doesn't look as much like a... Hush, Andy. I'm, I'm like having a, a moment. Please leave me with my thoughts. <laughs> Hoonigan isn't a word. <laughs> <laughs> it's two words smooshed together. Even better than a word. Man. I could really go for some monster energy. Right <laughs> look at this thing. It's ludicrous. It just looks like a car you go to the sh do your big shop in. Yeah, it used to be, but then they made a Cosworth version and made it extremely powerful, and it became like the ultimate sort of boy racer car. <laughs> Look at Cosworth. the wheel spinning. Like the like the clock in Beauty and the Beast. Y yeah, yes, I think. I don't really know what you're talking about. Co you know, Cogsworth, the right. clock in Beauty. Is it named after the clock in Beauty and the Beast? No, not, not Cogsworth, Cosworth. Right. Okay. St with you. Storied British engine manufacturer brand. Okay. I see. Very famous. You know, 
I was going to say, it wasn't some of the most famous Formula One engines of all time. No, the clock in Beauty and the Beast doesn't really bring to mind sort of speed and performance. No, not sort of really. Sort, sort, of the, sort of the opposite, yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like I'm doing well here. Yeah. Is there a Lumiere the candlestick engine as well? There is not, no. There's an Ilmore, which is sounds like an anagram of Lumiere. Lumiere, yeah. Could be. Right, well, I, I mean, I, I'm not really sure what Jerry Gruber's plan is at the moment. He's, I mean, he's just sort of flying very dangerously low and around the place. Yeah. And I suppose I'm I'm driving quite dangerously as well. So that kind know. of cargo plane isn't really meant for this kind of stunting, I don't think. No. Oh my lord! Oh, Two wow. people just fell out, and somehow they're not dead. They're on motorbikes. Yeah, I would. If if I tried that, I would die. I think. Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay, a bit of braking. Like not had to do much of that so far, and I've messed it up. Oh my lord! He did a flip. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I know. Do we get to be on motorbikes? Any no. Fun? No. This is no. all about cars and how much better than motorbikes cars are. What? Why did the Why did the street explode? Because <laughs> I think he smashed into a lampost or yeah, something. Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, I want to go to Mexico. This looks. He would definitely cool. be causing himself some sort of injury there. Yeah. This uh, This town, I think, is the one that has a load of like underground tunnels. It's quite. Oh, cool. cool. Can we drive cars around in them later? Yeah. In absolutely. the game. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm pretty sure it's this place. They do the world rally, the actual world rally. Yeah. So, mm. <laughs> okay, that almost went through <laughs> your windshield, killing you instantly. It's true. Oh, oh, he's veered off the oh. road again. Do you think they're actually in control, or do you think they're just like completely out of control? And well, I mean, you're barely in control, and you're in That's a car. True. So That's true. And I've got yeah, even twice the number of wheels they yeah, have. Yeah, imagine it's even worse for them. Brake. Oh, it's a big stop. Yeah, I should have mm, braked. I told you. Told you to break. Yeah, I'm damaging this lovely, lovely rally car. Yeah. Well, yeah, he built one of these though. Ken Block built one of these, and it burnt down. What the it car? Was quite sad. He had the like car a burnt down. Yeah, he had like a little, little accident on a rally, and it, and it burst into flames and burnt down to the shell. We should drive it more sensibly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really what rally driving's about, I suppose. Whoa, he's on a wingsuit. Oh, my Lord. He jumped off his bike and wingsuited. This is all exceptionally dangerous. This man wow. has done at least three things today that could have killed him. I mean, okay. If this he lands in front of me, sort of he is going to get flattened. Is he going to beat me? Like this. No. Yeah, he might. No, no, no. He had to activate his parachute. He had to activate his parachute. The loser. Or die. Finish first. He might have some sort of chemical imbalance. <laughs> <laughs> he's addicted to adrenaline, Andy. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you just beat that stunt team by like 0.2 of a second. I know, it's funny that, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird how it was that close, really, yeah. given how much was going on. But if if he'd wanted it enough, he could have uh, won and then died. Yeah, yeah, he, he didn't clearly want didn't want it enough. Didn't want it as much as I wanted it in my car. All right, do you want to go drive through some underground tunnels? Yes, I want to see these underground tunnels. Why are, why are right. there underground tunnels? Uh, I don't know, it's just how the, how the town was built. It's this way, cool. I think. In fact, let's have a quick look at the map. It is, where are we? It's this, this joint, I think, right? Yeah, look, here are the little underground tunnels. Look, let's, oh, go and, cool. let's go and have a quick look at those. All right, I bet there's Wait, a rich am I allowed uh, to? Oh, I'm not, a, I'm not allowed to set waypoints yet. But how are they gonna stop me if I just drive down this road, which will take me all the way there? How are they gonna stop me, Andy? That's what I, I mean, they, they probably can't. They literally can't. You've got to think about the um, all the money that this is bringing into the local economy as well. Absolutely, but think of all the repairs to their historic monuments that they're also going to have to do when Jerry Gruber drops a car on them. Yeah. Ooh, I earned a skill point. Uh, what do I want? I guess I can only get that one. Cool, fine. I know how a skill point works. It's not my first <laughs> Forza Horizon rodeo. It's not my first skill point. Look at this driftula in his natural habitat, spinning around. Was, I'd say that was too much of a drift, maybe. Yeah, it was a little too much, actually. You're not supposed to face the other way when you finish. No, you're supposed to face the way you were supposed to be going. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But that's why you're kind of driftula, because you're taking drifts to uh, bold new places. Yeah, like Because most people backwards. would just drift and continue going and keep their speed up. It's what true. you've done is you've turned completely around. <laughs> it's, it's a new new yeah. paradigm shift in the world exactly. of drifting. You're taking it to new places, which I love. 
Oh my lord, what was that thing? It was a spaceship. Where? It just whizzed past, basically. Oh, yeah. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Well, it's telling, it keeps telling you to turn around. <laughs> the GPS is telling me to do a U-turn. But I want to see some tunnels, Andy. All right. I want to see these tunnels. Here we go, look. Look all the colourful oh, yeah. buildings all and right. stuff. God, yeah. there's some amazing food places. Yeah. Probably some lovely bars. Mm, must be incredible. Oops. That's a I mean, now it feels like you're doing it on purpose now. Yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's a Pagani Zonda Cinque, I think. So there's only five of those in the world. Okay, um, so I think I've destroyed one of them. Yeah. Is your insurance going to pay for that? Uh, I mean, maybe. <laughs> right, here we go. Look, what's down here? Ooh, 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 look. Bridges and tunnels and things. Ah, nice. Nice, how, nice, nice. How cool is this? The entire, like, city is built on a network of tunnels. It's like Monaco or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Monaco of Mexico. There you go, Andy. So, a bit of history for you. Yeah. These historic tunnels. Like Monk Monksico. We can call it. <laughs> You're really into the compound names today, aren't you? Yeah. Someone's had an accident there that was nothing to do with me, which <laughs> surprises me. Well, I mean, it doesn't surprise me because there are all these supercars <laughs> driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> so. All right, let's go and see what we're supposed to be actually doing. Okay. So thank you for showing me the historic tunnels. That's all right. I thought I'd indulge you. Yeah. I thought I'd indulge you. So what would be a good showcase event for Mexico? Maybe something around uh, Dia de los Muertos. Maybe, yeah. Could, yeah. Maybe or just like eating a really large burrito. That'd be challenging, probably. It'd be like in, um, you one. know, in Coco, how yes. they have to um, get out of the land of the dead. Right. Yeah, maybe you have to get out, you have to drive your car out of, out the, land of the land of the dead, of dead. before That'd dawn. Be cool. Yeah, sounds good. And then put your photo on someone's off, 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 friend, <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> I can't remember. It's been a long time since I saw Coco. But yeah, that like little shrine thing. Oh my, look. How <laughs> You've got to stop driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, I really do, because there's no normal traffic in this game at all, it seems no. like. It, literally everyone is in a 200 mile an hour supercar, which means it's extremely risky to go anywhere near the other side of the road. Okay, I've seen balloons, Andy, so it's not a racing yeah. game unless there are balloons. That's where oh the my lord, look at game. that dust storm. Look at that dust storm. That big old dust storm. Mm-hmm. The Monster that Mash! Where we're going. Oh, Count Driftula and the Monster Mash together at last! Oh, hey, buddy! Finally, they're mashing together, yeah. drifting and mashing. <laughs> I was drifting in my car <laughs> late one night. <laughs> I mean, that does look like a big storm, doesn't it? Yeah, just take the take the birds uh, as the crow flies route. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Alright. The car's handling it well, actually. Yeah. It's off lots, of, lots of cacti getting smashed up. I love to see it. Smacked us! See, Smacked there's us. awards for it. Yeah. There's awards for everything in this game. Literally everything you do, you get some points for. Oh, so validated. Yeah. All right. Ooh. I've had a few requests come in, both in need of a talented driver. Care to take a look? Are those big sewage treatment plants? Or what? Um, they yes. Look, they look like a sewage treatment plant to me. Which, you know, in the uh, idealized fan fantasy version of Mexico <laughs> seems a weird thing to, to painstakingly reproduce it's to me. for realism. Right. Okay. We have to go and investigate those. Oh, look. Oh, there's like a barn find or something. Or what's this one? I don't want to take a photo. Photos are boring. I'm going to do... I'm going to do driving a beetle. Let's go. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> uh, pretty sure I had right of way there. So. That's fine. No one was hurt. <laughs> this time. This time. Okay, you're doing a good job of staying on the correct side of the road. Thanks. I am going to have to overtake this guy, though. But just slipstream, just round yeah. and then back it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that and it, no. pickle's going quite slowly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, normal speed. What, drive at normal? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> drive at normal speed? Oh, God. Is it illegal in this game? It's illegal to drive at normal speed. Excuse me. Pardon me. This is. Oh my god, that guy. That was that guy's tire. Oh, yeah, he, I think he's the guy I'm going to be doing a mission for. The Vocho. Alright, we're going to go find a car, Andy. Aren't like VW Beetles like 10 a penny in Mexico? Didn't they build them in like South America and. You know. Near to, near to Mexico, maybe, for, for years. Yeah. I know Mexico isn't South America, but like. I think. They're big over on in the Americas. 
I think Vocho is uh, the Mexican slang for a, a Volkswagen Beetle. Ah, nice. Well, Ocho is eight, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we've already got this this sweet. Yeah. Why do we? Is this why do we need a? Why do we need a Beetle? This is will be powered by a Beetle engine, presumably. This thing is great. Look at yeah. it. It matches your arm. I can't believe someone's gotten in a, the car with me. <laughs> it seems, <laughs> yeah. seems I mean, like that wouldn't happen. The festival hasn't been going on long. Probably word of your deeds hasn't Exploits, spread. Exploits, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But this will right. be the person who tells everyone else. Well, there's no need to stick to the road in this thing because it is literally an off-road buggy. So Yeah, so just <laughs> it's yeah. It's handling as it extremely flies. well. Yeah. As the buggy drives. Yeah. Look, perfect. Why follow the GPS? And you're discovering roads, you're smashing up trees. Yeah, I'm ruining the local habitat yeah. for the wildlife. It's, it's working well, though. I mean, What if a, a rare type of parasitic insect lived in that tree and you stopped it from destroying the crops? Andy, I'm not going to lose sleep over killing parasitic insects. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This, this, maybe you're doing a good thing for the community. Oh, I see, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Well, we found the barn. It landed on its roof. <laughs> yeah. Let me just get the door. That is an absolute heap. Oh, what a I'm beauty. I'm sure you could get one on eBay for like 500 quid, probably. What an absolute beauty. That looks... I'm not sure if it's going to work. Absolutely it's crocked. All... And what is going yeah. on with that exhaust pipe? <laughs> it's like a drag racing beetle. Yeah, it's got a spoiler. Yeah, Do right, beetles usually have spoilers? Fair enough. It's probably a bit harder to track one of those down on, on Craigslist. Oh, well, but... Yeah, that's the only way that car's moving, isn't it? You drive the truck. I've got to drive the truck. Wait, are you kidding me? I feel like this mission has been missold. Yeah. Wonder how the truck handles off road. Was it raining. raining? Right on the camera. All right. Do I have to not damage it? Uh. Yeah. You just got to do it within eight minutes and twenty seconds to get three stars. Right. I see. Where is the actual? Where is the actual? Yeah. This is this is right. Yeah. It's fine. Oh lord. All right, excuse me, coming through. It actually handles off-road pretty well, to be honest. There we go, yeah. I can see the destination. Great Not a wreckage. Problem. Great. What great, great wreckage. wreckage. Awesome what wreckage. What awesome wreckage this is. Ultimate been. wreckage. I hope it's not talking about the vehicle that I've transported. <laughs> well, that's got a sheet on it, so it can't be damaged. Yeah. In any also, way. it looks totally messed up. They're not going to notice a few extra yeah. things. If and you, if, you, if you scratch that. Yep, this is fine. There's absolutely <laughs> no way you're going to roll this down a mountain. <laughs> you're on a, quite an angle there, I will right. say. It's handling it well. Okay. Getting a like good smack to bonus. Built like a steakhouse, handles like a bistro. You've only been going for a minute. Can I smash through this? Mm. Yeah, I can. You've got eight of them. Yeah, this is going to be the greatest uh, time for this challenge ever. Yeah, probably an alarm will go off in Ralph Fulton's office. Yeah. Like what? Someone, someone did it in what time? In what? What? what time? We're gonna have to redesign the entire game. Let's delay yeah. it by six hit the months. big red button. Yeah. We're switching it to Albion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, job done. That was easy. Wow, you did it in like a minute and twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes faster than the three star time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they didn't reckon with my superior driving skills, yeah. obviously. Obviously, none of their QA testers did it that way. No. The hard work is just getting started. Call you soon. The hard work? I don't want to do hard work. I play video games to avoid hard work. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it. All right, do you want to finish up with the race then, Mike? Yeah, let's show do that. Us, yeah. uh, show us where your skills are now. We haven't actually done a proper race yet, have we? Yeah. So. All right. What have we got well, here? Let's do one then. Do it, Airfield coward. cross country. Oh, sewage. Let's do Emerald Circuit, they call it euphemistically. It's near the I, sewage works. Let's go I to the sewage works. I really don't think it's a sewage works. but that's, No, that's but it cool. looks quite a lot like a sewage works from from the air. So, All right. It's midnight. There's a full moon. Uh, yeah. And Count Drift Dealer is ready to feed. <laughs> Where can he live? Tran trans transmission Sylvania Sylvania yeah. Transam Sylvania Transam Sylvania works yeah yeah that's good right is this sewage no it's like no it's crops oh, it's of some sort crops I see all right fine and irrigation systems well let me just we do a few more should not be few more donuts it. around it but just the, pe to, the just corn the people's corns 
<laughs> we <laughs> just, I just the need harvest. to just fully check that it's not a sewage treatment works. Yeah. Okay, no, fine. No. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied. Has been. <laughs> He's using his powers for evil. Sewage treatment works race. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Solo. Emerald circuit. Let's Emerald go. circuit. Ooh. Sounds like a, a Mario Brothers. Well, I'm going to oh, obviously I'm going to use the rally car, obviously. Oh, look at it. Look at it. The problem is if I had one of those, I would 100% kill myself because I'd just end up flying off the road and into a tree somehow. So mm. it's probably best that I'd, I'm not allowed this car in real life. What else we got? Right. An aerial nomad? But we're in the Ford Cogsworth. It's not an aerial nomad. It just looks, it looks like a... It's a little buggy. It? it looks a, like a really slightly ghetto version of an aerial nomad. This is a little buggy fellow. He's involved. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, he. Oh, did pressure. I miss that checkpoint? I missed the checkpoint. He like sideswiped me. He nudged you. Did that on purpose, didn't he? All right, can, give him I the pressure from here. Yeah, give him the pressure. There we go. Give him, the, give him the pressure. Yeah. All right, we're good. Little t dab of the brakes there. All right. Do you have turbo? There's no nitrous in this car. No nitrous. What about Monster Energy? Can you pour that in? I could pour that in. It's probably engine. extremely, uh, it's probably extremely Ooh. good for combustion, actually. Hmm. You're in um, ow, ow, ow. fourth. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm clattering lots of stuff, but it's fine. Yeah, that's not podium though. You no, it's about to the, be though. You don't get sprayed with the champ champagne. The Monster Energy and champagne. Yeah, the big, <laughs> the magnum of Monster Energy. <laughs> <that> they produce. <laughs> Just, you'd be so highly caffeinated. <laughs> Wouldn't sleep for a week. Well, I mean, you're probably on a ridiculous adrenaline dump that's anyway. True. Yeah, that's true. So I imagine it takes a while to come down from doing a Formula One race. That's true. Yeah. All right, we got this one, Andy. We got this one in the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe give him a little nudge just to let no, them know. No, don't even need to. Don't even need just to. Just to let them know. Well, you've got um, another lap, even. So it's fine. I'm just breezing, breezing to victory. Yeah. Uh, as long as no one gets a uh, blue shell. Yeah, that's true. Could happen. Yeah. As long as my could... monster energy doesn't evaporate and the vapors cause me to pass out of the wheel. That's yeah, that's true. Uh, they could introduce that into Formula One, couldn't they? Like a leader shell mechanic. It wouldn't obviously. I, I'm being realistic here, Mike. Yeah. It wouldn't actually be a shell. No. It wouldn't be a blue shell. But if you're in last position. Maybe you get a little button that just disables the engine of the person in first. Yeah, I think that's good. They that? Make it make it randomised. Yeah. I think it's only a matter of time before Formula E tries something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. You just cut off the engine of yeah, whoever's doing they've already the best. Got, they've already got Not a thing the where race. like they've already got a thing in Formula E where like the the driver who has the most fans on Twitter uh, gets a extra speed boost. So I Are think it's serious? only a matter of Yeah, no, I'm for real, it's called fan boost. Um are you are you act are you serious to me right now? That's I am a real thing. Hundred percent serious. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's only a matter of time before Formula E tries something a bit spicy like that. By like adds Mario Kart style power ups. Cannot and believe I, I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But yeah, that's good. So you cut off the leader's engine, but only for like ten seconds. Mm. Only for ten seconds, and then he's back in it. As long Just as he level. as long as the person behind him hasn't collided with him at that point. Yeah. Well, I'm that's surprised. his own. You have to, you have to be you have to be wary. Yeah, that's, that's true, it thing. applies in Mario Kart as well. So. Yes, we like, oh, I'm in second. At any point, the leader might, his engine might cut out. Well, I didn't so. need a blue shell because I'm the greatest driver of all time. There yeah. you go, finish first. No problem. Yep. No in problem the whatsoever. Emerald circuit. Emerald Hill Zone. Look at them all finishing behind me. Yeah. Worthless. All right, good job. Thank you. That was a quick look at Forza Horizon 5 which is very exciting. Please do like yeah. and subscribe if you enjoyed this. It's and the new one. We will see you next time. From us and Iggy Pop. Yes. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>